there quirky peeps welcome back to our channel today we are taking a look at a movie that some might argue is a beacon of light after some pretty dark times transformers rise of the beasts frankly it's a little shocking to be genuinely excited for more transformers movies after the disappointments of age of extinction and the last night but much like optimus prime himself this franchise has once again risen from the ashes and with one to combo of bumblebee and rise of the beast providing to be a welcome course correction directed by stephen cable junior this latest installment unites beloved transformers clans introduces possible human characters and spotlights mental crunching action that's a major upgrade from the non descript animated stop we have been served in michael bay's last few movies While it's not going to win over the Academy for any category other than visual effects, Rise of the Beast accomplishes what it sets out to do. So, as a crowd-pleasing summer blockbuster that brings back the feel of Saturday morning cartoons only on a grander and more exciting scale. Set in the not so distant past of 1994, Rise of the Beast comfortably distances itself from the less than stellar Transformers movies we try not to talk about anymore. We follow Brooklyn Electronics Wiz, an ex-soldier played by Anthony Ramos, as he comically grapples with the reality of mechanized aliens driving Earth's highways. With the irreplaceable voice of Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime, I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message to any surviving Autobots taking refuge among the stars. We are here. And an impending threat from the world-eating villain Unicorn, Rise of the Beast carries forward a plot that's a kickstarter as you'd expect from a movie like this. But it's the new elements like the animal team Maximals that really steal the show. With Ron Perlman's guttural bellow as Lolan Gorilla bot Optimus Primal and Michelle Yeoh's soothing voice as the wise and majestic Peregrine Falcon bot Arazor, the Maximals offer a fresh contrast to the Autobots. It's not just their appearance layered with fur and leathers against Autobot detailing with vibrant pimp my right style designs but also their unique connections to nature and earth's inhabitants. Thankfully the action sequences have undergone a major overhaul as well. They are given the opportunity to shine because we are not bombarded with the headache in using Michael Bay action sequences that tank the later Transformers movies. Here the camera holds steady as Autobots, Maximals and Unicorn Staracon henchmen engage in their vehicular battles, allowing clean and crisp animation to showcase what exciting Transformers fight choreography can look like. Of course, it couldn't be a Transformers movie without an impressive voice cast. Especially notable are Pete Davidson's voice cracking Mirage and Peter Dinklage's role as Unicorn's right-hand henchman Scout. As usual, the movie's slow points center on the human characters. While they offer serviceable performances, the interactions between the Transformers and the human actors don't meet the high standards like animation sets elsewhere. But these are minor hiccups in an otherwise entertaining ride, featuring fire explosions, laser blaster shootouts, and limb-severing Transformers foreplay. Transformers: Rise of the Beast proves that Bumblebee wasn't a fluke, and that the Transformers series is finally accelerating in the right direction. Even though it never achieves the epic scope it's aiming for, and the human side of the story can't keep up with the robots, Rise of the Beast returns to Transformers basics on a grand scale, without getting too big for its bridges. It's like playing with Autobots and Maximus action figures in your backyard on a weekend. You are lost in a fun adventure that might not save the galaxy, but it's a good enough excuse to watch robots turn into cars and fight for a few hours. So that's our review of Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. What did you think of the movie? Let us know in the comments below. And do check out our previous videos on Transformers: Rise of the Beasts for more awesome details. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cinematic insights and reviews. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.